A flip is a cocktail that will make you flip out with eggs to see. <laughs> One of my patrons on Patreon, Thomas P., asked me to help him with his fall flip concoction. He wrote, hang on. He wrote, I've been playing around with flips, but haven't quite figured out a perfect autumn recipe. Wondering if you had some thoughts or could make a unique video about an autumn flip. I've made pumpkin spice syrup and combined it with an egg, something like a traditional flip, then mixed it with a wonderful oat stout. It's not terrible, but lacks years of experience to perfect. Hoping you might have some insight. Well, I said, sure. Why not? Let's get cracking. Yeah. <laughs> Flips, the English-born cocktail that's like eggnog's quirky cousin, decided one day that milk or cream was just too mainstream. So it went rogue and embraced the whole egg, or just the yolk if it was feeling particularly sassy. <laughs> cream? <laughs> that's the last century. Nowadays, it's more of a maybe or maybe not kind of ingredient. It's an optional thing, right? One of the first known written references to a flip is found in William Congreve's 1695 play, Love for Love. 1695? Isn't that the year you were born, Bruce? <laughs> Shut up, Aaron. <laughs> you be quiet. I'm not that old. <laughs> I'm getting there, but I'm not there yet. Anyway, the term was first used to describe a mixture of beer, rum or brandy, molasses or sugar, and heat it with a red hot iron and defined as, well, sort of a sailor's drink. Picture this, all these old sea dogs huddled around a fire, mixing all their ingredients together and then heating it with a red hot stick. <laughs> Talk about a medieval cooking show, eh? Where everybody knows your name. As time went on, eggs crashed the party and the proportion of sugar was bumped up. Beer got kicked out and was replaced by fancy fortified wines and spirits. And guess what? They started serving it cold. <laughs> because who doesn't love a plot twist? In the good old days though, they warmed up the beer by giving it a cozy spot near the fire. Once it was hot enough, they'd transfer it to a jug and add some rum, sugar and spices for extra pizzazz. Then came the juggling act, hence the name Flip where they tossed the liquid back and forth between two jugs until it was smoother and silkier than a Paul Desmond saxophone solo. <laughs> Finally, they'd pour this concoction into a cup or tankard and bring in the star of the show, a red hot fireplace poker called the flip dog, toddy rod or loggerhead. This wasn't just any poker. It was, uh, was kind of like Thor's hammer for bartenders. They'd plunge the hot poker into the cup of flip causing a caramelizing frenzy that made the drink bubble and froth like a witch's cauldron. The result? A slightly bitter, burnt taste that made everyone say, hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Okay, let's have some fun and make an extraordinary cocktail. Ooh, <laughs> I'm getting all excited. <laughs> let's craft an Excellent flip for autumn. Enough with the egg puns. <laughs> what? This drink is going to be egg exquisite. Trust me, it's exactly what you want to drink after you see what I'm going to make. <laughs> it looks exceptional and will be extremely tasty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's make one. Okay, so what kind of beer, ale, or stout should we use? Well, Thomas had originally used an oat stout. Well, I've got two oat stouts that I picked up. Um, this one, actually, this little brewery is uh, just down the street from me, so it's really quite convenient. <laughs> Blackbridge, actually, by Sparrow. But this one looks interesting 
uh, milk chocolate, milk chocolate stout. And I'm half swaying towards this because I think that's gonna actually develop into a richer kind of uh, drink. So anyway, we're gonna make it with some oat stout, just like uh, Thomas did here. And I'm gonna use two ounces. Look at that froth. So the first thing you wanna do, you pour yourself two ounces and give it a swirl. You wanna reduce some of that carbonation because if you uh, add all your ingredients, slap a lid on, you might have a little bit of an explosion. <laughs> an explosion. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> anyway, that actually looks pretty good all over the bar too. So anyway, so we're gonna add <laughs> some Smith & Cross uh, Navy Strength <laughs> rum. That's actually what Thomas also used. I'm going for one ounce. This is, uh, what is this, 57, 57% ABV. <laughs> it's got a kick. <laughs> We're gonna also add uh, some uh, apple brandy. One ounce of Calvados in our glass. We're gonna follow that up with our pumpkin spice syrup. Now, you can make your own pumpkin spice syrup uh, by following the link here. Or um, there's also, I guess, a link in the description below. So we're using one ounce of pumpkin spice. Look how rich that looks, eh? <laughs> we're gonna add our egg. Yeah. And we're gonna dry shake. Just to emulsify that egg. Get everything mixed in together. That looks pretty good. All we're going to do is add some ice to it. And we're going to shake. We're going to shake. How are we going to shake it? <laughs> How are we shaking? Uh, Flippy. Hey, flippy. <laughs> flippy. Flip it. Flip it. And you know flip it. Flip it. Faster than lightning. You know that song? No idea. <laughs> it was flipper. <laughs> That's pretty good. I gotta get my uh, chilled flip glass. Actually, it's a fizz glass. Out of the freezer. That's <laughs> a beauty, eh? And we're just gonna strain this right over top. Look at how creamy, wonderful that looks. Oh my God. Beautiful. Look at how creamy that is. Oh my God. I'm just gonna give this a, a go to see where I'm at here. You know, half making it up as I go. <laughs> That's what I do, okay? Wow. It's certainly not sweet. Even though we uh, used our pumpkin spice syrup, I think it needs, I think it needs a little Kahlua. Why not? Yeah, a little coffee and milk chocolate stout. I'm not using a lot, a bar spoon, five mil, I'm gonna add. I'll give that a little stir. Whoa, completely changes the flavor profile for sure. I made a little template. And we're gonna grate some uh, Fresh nutmeg over top. Nice. And why not? I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud here, guys. 
I got a cinnamon stick. Uh, let's burn it. <laughs> burn it, baby. Oh yeah, now that. <laughs> now that is an autumn flip made with oat stout. Okay, I thought <laughs> I'd like to, uh, I don't know, bring out the uh, pumpkin spice syrup with a little bit of pumpkin ale. Why not? <laughs> Again. Ooh, I can smell the spices. That's kind of neat. Two ounces. And like we did before, swirl it around, reduce some of that carbonation, because we don't want an egg explosion. <laughs> All right, good enough. This time, uh, we're gonna use <laughs> our newfound favorite, Dead Man's Fingers Spice Rum, because it is a lovely rum. One ounce. Again, we're gonna use our uh, Calvados. It looks like I got about an ounce there. Pretty darn close. No! Have no fear. <laughs> Have no fear. I've got another bottle around here somewhere that was gifted to me by Terry. Terry M, thank you so much. <laughs> See, we wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for his uh, generous gift. Thank you. Okay. Calvados, fresh bottle. One ounce. Next we have our pumpkin spice syrup. One ounce. And what goes with pumpkin spice? Hmm. Or what goes with pumpkins? I'm a thinking chocolate. Creme de cacao, dark. I'm just going to use uh, five mil, a bar spoon, just to bring out a little bit of that chocolatiness. <laughs> chocolatiness? Oh yeah. Oh boy. Wow. Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm thinking also some bitters might go really nice in here. Uh, orange would be nice, yeah. A couple dashes of orange bitters. How about a couple dashes of chocolate bitters? Yeah, <laughs> I'm going crazy. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm just experimenting here, guys. Now we need our egg, right? Yeah, sweet. Dry shake. <laughs> dry shake like a dry egg. No, I don't know what that is. No. I got nothing. <laughs> Just dry shake it. Emulsify that egg, right? Okay, now uh, we are going to add some ice. And shake it. Hey, you know how to make a, a, a beer omelet? Crack open a cold one. <laughs> God, what is wrong with you? <laughs> shake it, get it all nice and chilled. Yeah, that's pretty good. And uh, I'm just gonna go grab another fizz glass out of my freezer. Yeah, I got a whole freezer full of fizz glasses. Well, not really, but I got glassware. I got glassware coming out of my glassware. All right, swap that for that, and we are going to strain it out. Yeah, here we go. Oh, look how creamy wonderful that looks too. 
sweet. And like before, we are going to grate uh, some nutmeg over top of this wonderful concoction. <laughs> sweet, look at that, look at that. Okay, <laughs> smoke them if you got them. <laughs> I don't know, this is, this is probably really unnecessary, but it's pretty cool, if you ask me. Look at that, that's beautiful, that's beautiful. I guess we should give this a go, eh? Well, obviously the first thing I get is the burnt cinnamon. good. <laughs> I gotta try the one with the, this is the one with the, uh, the, the pumpkin ale, right? The spice drum. This one's a little flat tasting, like it's, it's not perky. This one is perky. Wow. This one has so much more flavor going on. I taste the chocolate. I taste a little bit of the orange from the bitters. I gotta do something here. I'll take my cinnamon stick here. Just wanna swirl in the nutmeg. Incorporate that. I could drink these all day. It's so rich. I think this would be like perfect after dinner, almost like a dessert. The oat stout one is nice, but it, it's a lot drier than the pumpkin ale. And the pumpkin ale seems to enhance the pumpkin spice <laughs> that we used. Again, it's all a matter of taste preference. Mine is swaying towards the pumpkin ale. There you go, Thomas. I uh, hope you, uh, I hope you make this one. <laughs> Cause I don't know, it's just, it's just jumping with joy. <laughs> jumping with joy? What, where's the egg pun? Oh. No egg pun, but yeah, the pumpkin ale uh, version is my favorite. Uh, hope you give it a go. Cheers. Maybe. How does this thing work? Ah, there we go. Burn it! Okay, we're doing the hit the subscribe yeah. shit. Yeah. Okay, hit the subscribe shit. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Ha <laughs>